Hi, my name is Rachele Focardi, author of Reframing Generational Stereotypes and one of the judges at the Work for Tomorrow competition. This topic, particularly as it relates to the multi-generational workforce, is one very close to my heart and an extremely important one. I am sure there are so many brilliant ideas out there just waiting to be captured, but I want to highlight three key aspects that may provide some additional food for thoughts as you think about how we can respond to an aging workforce. First, increased life expectancy is keeping baby boomers in the workforce well past the age of retirement. This means they often find themselves in direct competition with the younger employees who have many of the skills that organizations now deem fundamental. With digitization, the new jobs that are emerging will require either strong technical knowledge or the ability to work alongside AI to improve productivity and efficiencies. Success will more than ever depend on employees' ability to transform by moving frequently and quickly and rapidly between tasks, cultures, and business models. Being equipped with the right skills will be even more important for older employees in the aftermath of COVID-19. Many industries have sustained lasting damage and will have to reinvent themselves in order to survive. Many jobs will be permanently wiped out and hundreds of millions of workers will have no choice but learn new skills and join new sectors. This is where upskilling and reskilling programs come into play and we are already seeing a number of organizations show strong commitment towards ensuring that older employees remain happy, relevant and employable not only by encouraging them to embrace change but by providing the right learning environment. Sadly, however, According to a recent PwC study, only 18% of organizations globally cite significant progress in establishing an upskilling program. Could this in itself be an opportunity? Second, while it is important for them to continue acquiring the needed skills, we must not forget that what older employees bring to the table is incredibly important and valuable. Sadly, because they're on their way towards retirement, they might not be an organization's top priority when it comes to professional development or career advancement. However, they do possess a wide range of invaluable skills and their many years of service guarantee a wealth of knowledge and experience that the younger generation simply can't beat. Organizations have a lot to gain from retaining baby boomers and making them feel comfortable, appreciated, and valued. After all, they're not just responsible for the transfer of institutional knowledge, they're also the ones who need to guide young generations to leadership. Finally, between a global pandemic, global warming, inequality, to name a few, our society is facing unprecedented disruption. As a result, organizations will face new complex business challenges that simply cannot be addressed through the traditional and hierarchical way of doing business. Solving these challenges requires a wide range of diverse skill sets that go beyond years of experience or understanding of technology. The skills that will be needed are equally distributed across generational cohorts. In order to leverage the collective strength of their workforce and unleash the full power of their human capital, organizations will need to find ways for the older and the younger employees to learn from one another, combine their strengths and competencies, and really collaborate. I strongly believe the pivotal role in turning this humanitarian crisis into an opportunity will be played by the new generations working hand in hand with the older generations to chart a more positive trajectory and solve the many interconnected problems that we will increasingly be facing. So now, I want to hear from you. What are some transformational initiatives that can help governments and organizations equip employees with the right skills and growth mindsets to stay ahead in the changes regardless of their age, leverage the knowledge, wisdom, and experience of older employees, and drive positive change through the power of intergenerational collaboration? I look forward to all your brilliant ideas.